we started the day off with an HBCU town hall, which was absolutely necessary because we had all the fun, but at the same time, we were here for a reason, and that was to celebrate that legacy of black colleges. So we really wanted to have a discussion, and so we organized a panel moderated by Ronisha Turner. These folks really put it all out there. They really spoke the truth about the black college experience, the future of black colleges, what it means to be an alumni, things of that nature. HBCU, good times. Freshman year. Snuck in the science building auditorium. <laughs> Brought a stereo up in there. And we had a party. <laughs> to the police, campus police. Dating somebody or you seeing somebody and then they see you with somebody else in the cafeteria. And Cheerios get poured in your lap. You know, it's not a good thing. Senioritis. You want, you want to keep your grade, your GPA. You're so worried about your GPA when you first get in. By your senior year, you're like, please give me a C. Can I get out of here? It's one of the few times you're ever going to be in a place where there's a 99% black university and also a 99% black town where your chief of police is black and your chief of the fire department is black and the banking assistant and the, the owner of the bank is black. If there was a freshman out there who quite didn't know where they wanted to go, HBCU versus traditional, where would you, what would you say? <clears throat> it was a great experience. Life's lessons, I learned a lot about us, our culture, our uh, history that I wouldn't have gotten at a traditional university. I charge all of you to go back to your university sometime within the next year other than homecoming and see what changes need to be made and try to get those changes made. The corporate sponsors just want to know out of 100% of your alumni, what percentage of those, of those people are giving back? When I walk the campuses, I'm walking the campuses of slaves who built the bricks of these universities. If we don't support our universities, they're going to close down and, and we won't have a choice.